My father fell from the boat. His balance had been poor for some time. He had gone out in the boat with his dog hunting ducks in a marsh near Trempolo, Wisconsin. No one else was near save the wiry farmer scraping the gutters in the cow barn, who was deaf in one ear from years of machines, and he was half a mile away. My father fell from the boat, and the water pulled up around him, filled his waders, and this drew him down. He descended into water the color of weak coffee. The dog went into the water too, thinking perhaps this was a game. I must correct myself. Dogs do not think as we do. They react, and the dog reacted by swimming around my father's head. This is not a reassuring story about a dog signaling for help by barking, or how, by licking my father's face, encouraged him to hold on. The dog eventually tired and went ashore to sniff through the grass, enjoy his new freedom from the attentions of his master, indifferent to my father's plight. The water was cold, I know that, and my father has always chilled easily. That he was cold is a certainty, though I have never asked him about this event. I do not know how he got out of the water. I believe the farmer went looking for him after my mother called in distress and then drove to the farm after my father did not return home. My mother told me of this event in a hushed voice, cupping her hand over the phone and interjecting cheerful non sequiturs so as not to be overheard. To admit my father's infirmity would bring down the wrath of the god of nothingness who listens for a tremulous voice and comes rushing in to sweep away the weak with icy, unloving breath. But that god was called years before, during which time he planted a kernel in my father's brain, which grew, freezing his tongue, robbing him of his equilibrium. The god was there when he fell from the boat, whispering from the warren of my father's brain, and it was there when my mother, noting the time, knew that something was amiss. This god is a cold god, a hungry god, selfish and with poor sight. This god has the head of a dog.